This is the house and the veranda. Lots of dead socks. Look much, but it's very infinitely sort of livable sort of area. Here we are. Oh, big Django. This way, a section of nowhere. What? No, it's not. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes your reflection. Oh, excellent. <laughs> How's that? I always like being in frame. Is that good? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Listen to bellbirds. Yeah, it's funny. So, from my memory, that should be 37.2. Yeah. So, it's 25 Three kilometers. Down, right? Yeah. 25 kilometers down. Um, 25 kilometers down the, to the bottom of the hill. Right. I'd say it's about uh, 18 kilometers to the tree. Right. No, I can guess. That, there's a. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, <it's> it all. <laughs> it doesn't look staged, Lachlan. It's just, you know. <laughs> See ya. Was that flatulence? Yeah, it <laughs> yeah. Okay, Brutus. Have I got enough mud splatter yet? Yeah. Oh, good. Taste! <laughs> <laughs> this is about five, five minutes into the ride. Maybe a kilometre. Um, fairly steep saddled. Let's see how it goes. Oh, he's lifted out of the saddle. Okay. It's like the Melbourne Cup. What? How are we going, Bruce? We're good. Yeah. Just hold on to here. That's good. Uh, doing well, mate. Well done. Ah. Pump, <laughs> pump those legs, son. Pump those legs. Uh. Oh, he's out of the saddle. <laughs> Put it in, son. Put it in, son. Almost there. Well yeah, done. Just, often just um, just rolling down the hills. Just got to keep enough concentration to stop thinking about other things. That's it. Perfect. It's like going through a little bit of zen, just doing nothing but drifting down the bloody hill. That's nice. Beautiful stuff. How is the, uh, how's the climb there, uh, Lachlan? Bit tough, I prefer the downhills. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Go, oh. Brutus. <laughs> Into a hill climb. The Petey should be just up ahead, Petey Fisher that is, and I'll um, be change over and he, he'll start riding. Here comes Brutus, big climb. Sorry. Yeah. How's that, mate? Nice. Just step this way. 
Look at that. Look at that. A beautiful view, isn't it? Yeah. I can barely keep up with you, PD. Hey? I can barely keep up with you. <laughs> We had to put the white balance up on high because of you. <laughs> about 24 kilometers in, Peter Fish is about to roll around this bloody corner, so I better move down. Just past Bivens Road, um, it's just going down a steep downhill. Hopefully, there's no uphill. So we're now down into the valley. It's um, a lot faster than I thought it would be, so from the trig. Um, it's, uh, take an idle guess, it's about two hours since we started at the gate, uh, the big Yango gate, and that's good, and the valley just will take us down to Wollombi. You certainly hit the last of what it got in the street. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Fisher, swimming, swimming, swimming. Mm -hmm. There you go. Waterproofing working? Another Ford. We've done about six of these and their cars have actually had to turn back by now. That wasn't a difficult Ford, thank goodness. Yeah. Uncle Phil. So the wusses have all gone home now. To the um, Bombay pub with food. So Lockman estimated to be about 37 and a half kilometers from the gate, and he did 42 and a half because he actually rode from the homestead. That's it.